ओके ओके सर सो गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे वी विल बी डीलिंग विद द सेशन फॉर टैली इन दैट वी हैव द ऑप्शन yesterday we have covered inventory related options now we will check it out with the what are the other yesterday we had done with the inventory and reorder level today in the reorder level we have done the setting for the order level reorder level and minimum quantity yesterday we had done minimum quantity and reorder level why this reorder level is used because we have been customer and we have to have the inventory stock to maintain the minimum stock in our go down level we will be maintaining the order level so that that if the if the quantity of stock closing stock reaches this level i have to place in a order so it has to pop up me with a order so for this purpose we will be using the reorder level in the reorder level we will specify the reorder at which level if stock reaches i have to place in order this is the first criteria second is minimum quantity what's the minimum quantity of the order i have to place so that uh, i have to place the minimum quantity order so that in the minimum quantity uh, minimum quantity order the quantity which will be entertained by our supplier so when i am placing a reorder the quantity assume that the seller will sell only 100 and above quantity and my reorder level is 50 so when i place in minimum quantity order to him he says that i will supply only 100 so what is the criteria i have to look at i have been i am giving the minimum order is that will the supplier will entertain the quantity which i am specifying so for this purpose we have to maintain the minimum so if i place in 50 minimum order quantity and i place an order for my supplier then he says that i will not supply i will supply if the quantity exceed 100 and above you are placing a order for 50 so please place an order for above 100 so we have to be you know assume that our minimum sale in a week of yes we have taken the television na huh? samsung television per month we have the option we will in a month 4k television we are selling 100 so we are maintaining 100 uh, quantity and reorder level whenever it reach 20 i have to place an order for 100 quantity again because my minimum sale for the month is 100 so i will have to take so quantity and the 100 is the minimum order which i have to place so that next when stock is 20 one message one order will get generated for minimum quantity what is the minimum quantity minimum quantity either you have to decide or you have to check in take the consideration of what the quantity the supplier will supply if the 100 he assume that he is supplying 100 our demand is also 100 it's fine assume that he will supply 50 our demand is 100 see we can place a order because the minimum supply quantity of our supplier is higher lower than the what the minimum order we are placing so so minimum order quantity when we set the minimum first criteria reorder level when the order to be placed with which quantity then what's the quantity so we have done the setup day before yesterday i will select one company and i will show you this is the pavan and co then i will go to f11 option here from gateway of tally f11 inventory features purchase order and sale order is enabled so i will go to inventory info reorder level Alt F3, shift 
company get company we order level Name of the company is the order level I have placed. I have to go to FM first. I have to enable the feature for the reorder. So I will go to inventory features, purchase order, sale order. I will enable and account with inventory and look after it. Reorder level is not showing because I don't have any stock. So reorder level is not getting reflected. I have to go to stock. I have to create this stock. Samsung television. Primary, numbers, numbers, access. Now I am getting the reorder level. Now I will go to reorder stock item Samsung television 20. So I will take out the advanced configurations 20, and the minimum order to be placed is. 50. I accept this. Control A. Now check it out. Display. First, we will go to the report. Display. Statement of inventories. Reorder level. Primary. Samsung television. In the Samsung television, our closing stock is nil. And reorder level is 20. Shortfall of 20. Because we don't have any stock. So it's showing 20. Then the order we have to place is 50. I will perform on purchase entry function F9 invoice number one party number C supplier will specify credit card. I accept this. I order multi item three. Purchase purchase account Samsung television. So I will take first 10 quantity, we will check it out with 10 quantity with 30,000 is the television cost 3 lakhs. Now our closing stock is, now we will check it out with the report, display, inventory, statement of inventory, reorder status, primary, television. Our stocks with us is 10, the reorder is, our net available is 10, whereas reorder level is, we said, by the time stock is 20, we have to place an order. So so our stock is 10 shortfall, we have to place an order for 50 because minimum order we said 50. Below 50, he will not accept the order. So now we will alter the purchase, we will, we will perform one more entry, F9, purchase, invoice number 2, supplier, purchase, Samsung television, So I will take here 60 quantity. D E R. Bam. Now my closing stock is 70. Net availability is 70. Reorder is 20. So my stock not reaching state 20. I am having 70 stock. So it's not dropping me any message for short spot. And minimum order we said 50 so it's not showing any shortfall because 70 is higher than 20 now i will place one sale order i will perform on sales invoice wanting voucher gf5 one or say guitars sales data sales now we will be selling samsung television 51 quantity now is costing 35000 i will take Now we will check with the report day E reorder level. 
Now we have 19 as a closing stock. We said by the time it reached 20, we had to place an order for minimum quantity. So my available is 19. My reorder status is when it reached 20, I have to place an order. We said so 20. So 20 is higher than 19. So it's showing one shortfall. The shortfall, one shortfall is there, and it's popping me. We said when shortfall come, I have to place an order. So for 50, I have to place an order. So this way reorder level will help us so that whenever it reaches the reorder level, one minimum quantity order will pop up and we have to place an order for this 50 quantity. The reorder level will help in the analyzing the stock available so that whenever the, it reaches the minimum reorder level, it shows we have to place an order. For this purpose, we will use the reorder level. And the topic for today, this is that's the topic for yesterday. No, but topic for today. So, stock transfer we have done. We have done reorder level also. And today. We will go with the order processing and delivery charm. Today we will check it with the how order to be. Reorder level we have learned. Now we will learn order placing. How to place an order. Purchase order, sales order and delivery note. And receipt note. These are the four topics we will be learning today. Purchase order, sale order. Delivery charm and receipt. What does it mean? So first in notepad, I will write down the chart of the structure is whenever a company want to purchase anything, they will place purchase order to supplier. When purchase order is placed, the supplier will deliver, he will take it as, we will write down here, for supplier, buyer, so it will be better if we do it in word. I will take the table here. So, Purchase order processing. Now order processing happens. Whenever for buyer, we will take it out here buyer and seller. Buyer, seller. Or you can write down here. Supplier. For buyer, what buyer will do? Purchase order. For seller, sale order. In a 
place in order purchase after order get executed what he will perform receipt mode for seller delivery mode or delivery chalana delivery then rejection out rejection in then he will perform purchase invoice sales invoice so this is the structure followed first we will place the purchase order for the buyer order processing in that what are the steps are followed first we will purchase order and again is the purchase order when goods come in we will perform the receipt note because we are receiving the goods then rejection out we have purchased some of the stock got damaged so we are rejecting it out we are returning it to our supplier now in purchase order i will take here order for 100 and receipt note receipt note we received 100 from that we are returning him back my quantity now invest will happen for 95 He said, "We have placed a purchase order for 100. He sent 100. Five rejection out, 95 rejection. For supplier, order for him is 100. He will write delivery note for 100. For him, rejection in five. Then he will perform the." Sales invoice, sales invoice for ninety five. So it's mapping here. For buyer also it's mapping. For seller it's mapping. So he places an order. He has delivered the order by issuing the sales order. And for the sales order, for him it's a receipt note. For him a delivery note. For him it's a rejection note. For him it's a rejection in. For him it's a purchase. For him it's a sales. So this is the cycle. which is followed in the industry for the purchase and sale order now we have created one company we have the stock item also now from the tally end how we will be placing the purchase order and sale order now now press f11 we have created the company the order level for this company only we will go with the option for the order placing now from the gateway of tally after creating the company i will go to f11 futures in the f11 futures what are the required area when we are dealing with inventory for order processing we will go to as it's inventory related we are going with order processing it's not related to account it's related to inventory so we will go to the inventory features in the inventory features options are purchase order we have to enable sale order we have to enable and we said that delivery note goods are delivered goods are received so delivery note we will enable rejection note and rejection in we will enable so we have to enable four options first Purchase order, sale order, delivery note, rejection in, and rejection out. And first and and the foremost was account with inventory. Inventory is enabled. In inventory, futures are enabled. We have to place the order. From which screen we will be placing the order? I will write down the steps here also.
first step one creation of company step two this is for i will write down the profit also purchase the purchase order first creation of company step to inventory features enable purchase order order voucher so the order voucher got from gateway of tally inventory vouchers f5 for is order now what we have done we have enabled the purchase order now we will check it out with the report now we had enabled purchase order and we, sorry, we have to create the stock item also we have not mentioned enabled purchase order then step 3 is creation of ledgers and stock item for this order voucher step 5 reports order report We will check it out. We had enabled in F11, F2 feature we had enabled. We have ledger also. We have created two ledger. One is supplier, and another is data. We have created the ledgers. So instead of data, I will write down here manage enterprises. Prices supplier, we will take it here. Water distributor supplier. So we are dealing in the water stock item as water. So we go to inventory stock item water. Something relation we have already. We will create one more item. Create water. Numbers, accessories, waters, ACs. So we do buying and selling in water cooler and ACs. As is the month of summer, so we will take water cooler and ACs. We have enabled in F11, F2 purchase order. Then we then we came to the gateway of tally ledger. We have created the Mahesh Enterprises under data and Walters Walters distributor under predator and we have the stock item Walters AC and Walters cooler. Now we will perform so uh, first what we will do we will perform the order how to perform the order I, either we can go to voucher type here we have a order voucher or from the gateway of tally we have directly when we enable purchase order sale order below that we will get 
order voucher also. Okay, order voucher. Get pay fairly. Order voucher. In the order voucher. Uh, in the order voucher, we have the option here. When we come down to order voucher, we have the option here. F4 for purchase. F5 for sale. So we will go with the F4 for purchase order. So we buy to selling what we do we will do purchase so we will perform the purchase order f4 for purchase order creation of company inventory feature enable purchase order creation of ledgers and stock and order voucher in the order voucher get pay tally order voucher f4 for purchase order now we are here in f4 for purchase order in the purchase order Party from whom we are purchasing. So date is first April 2018. What does distributor? Our name of the company is order the order level. So this is showing order number one. Yes, showing order number one. And purchase. What you want to purchase? So we have selected the what does company. So we will buy this. Is asking us, you when order to be get executed. So we will take here twelve. Well, what's the quantity you want? We will take twenty quantity. Rate per AC twenty five thousand. Five lakh rupees. So next, water scooter. When can it delivery? On twelve only. I will take here. Twelve April. Quantity thirty. It's costing ten thousand rupees. Now we have performed the purchase order. We have performed the order. Wait from where to check the report? Display. And when we perform purchase order, it will not affect the party ledger or inventory. Now we check it out to the. Lectures first display lecture what is distributor so the this is regarding the purchase is showing so we will delete this process this purchase order which we have performed for the reorder level I will select space on. What is distributor? Nothing, and I will go to the inventory. Inventory book, stock item. What is AC? Zero. Neither we purchase, neither we sold, neither is the closing stock. Cooler also? No. No. It will not affect the inventory or party ledger or purchase report because. It's Only in order, it not got executed. So when it get executed, party ledger and inventory book will get affected. Now I will go to the statement of inventory. We have performed the purchase order. Now I am going to the statement of inventory. In the statement of inventory, I have the option here. What's the option specifying? Purchase order outstanding. That means. The order has to be delivered yet. Now, when I click on the purchase order, I can either can group, go with the group primary order CC, or I can go with the particular stock item. Ah, uh, if not, I want to go with the ledger. I can go with the ledger also. I will select the ledger. What is distributor? 
from the water stressed equilibrium and this is from the water school f cases and 30 coolers so i can check the report purchase order report via stock group stock item or debtors or individual creditor or individual party you can now it shows all orders new only here it's not showing any order we are checking report in the month of in the days first april what we said due date is on 12th april so i will press f now i will press f2 Then here, twenty-eighth April. When I press twenty-eighth April, this is the duration of my report checking is from first April to twenty-eighth April. Now I am getting an order, order number one, order number one, and order quantity twenty, order quantity thirty. We are checking on twenty-eighth. So 28th is 20 days from 1st April. We have given the date as for the order to be get executed. That date is 12. What year it showing? Eight days. Why it showing eight days is because after 12, eight days has been crossed. Due over due is happening. Due date we have given by 12 order has to be get executed, but it has been 20. Eight days more for extend days for this order. So I can check it out here. The report from F12 as per my requirement. So as we have taken all or all orders from the system, we are. Stock item, ACS, pending order. So the pending order for the stock item is twenty. So when it is pending, when it will get executed? I will press F twelve. Is the order when you click on it, it shows order when to be get executed. For this, order has to be get delivered on 12th April. Now, report pending or standing there. This is order. This is order placing. Now, again, it's the order. The order is being placed, but don't take on. Now, when I go to the accounting voucher invoice number one, here we do mapping with the purchase invoice. The order will map it will map it to the invoice. Now we will select the water distributor. When I select the water distributor, okay, I am getting here the order detail in supplementary box. When I select this order one, end of list. Showing me order detail, the order which we have placed. Due date is on 12, but we are performing the entry on 1st April itself. So we have to check the report in which day we are performing the entry. So we have performed the order. Again, is the order our supplier has delivered the goods. What the structure we have defined here is first is purchase order. Again, is the purchase order. We will perform the receipt note. So we will perform the receipt note now. You know, purchase order, which is pending. Statement of inventory, purchase order, stock item, water, C C, twenty, 
particular 30. Now we will perform the invoice for the only one order, the same order on 28. We will take one item. So order your supplier has accepted the order. Now he is delivering the goods. Now we will go to inventory voucher. Receipt mode. But the purchase is in receipt mode. Receipt mode. Question number one. Party from whom we are getting the goods. Walters. Here it's showing the order detail. In receipt mode, what we are getting? Order detail. So I will change first date here. So on 2 and April, I will I will take only one item from the order. We place an order for two quantity, but from that he has delivered only one. That is Walters AC to us. The 25 Walters AC. Now we will check it out with the reports now. Display statement of inventories. Purchase order outstanding. Ledger. Waters distributor. Now from the Walters distributor. Order from for detail. Press F12. Book close the order pending. Order is being booked, 20 is pending, 30 is pending. There is water cooler. And we are not able to use the AC here. Now we will check it out with the Stock group, primary, water cooler is pending. So order is pending for the water cooler. Whereas water AC order got executed. And order got executed. Here it's showing the due date because we have performed entry on 12th of April. On 12th of April, one order to be is pending. Still it is pending. Now when I make, when I check the reports, now again is the purchase order we have performed the receipt mode. When we perform the order, it didn't affect the party ledger or it didn't affect the stock item also. Now when we have performed one entry with order and check it out with the inventory. Inventory book, stock item, SS. Now SS is showing 20 item in what? means 20 items are received because we had performed the receipt note again is the order. Receipt note specifies that we have received the goods. The good summary also primary Walters. When I click on the Walters, showing 20 items got delivered. So it, effect, it has affected 20 quantity. 20 quantity of 20 quantity of ACs have been received by us. So we will check it out with the party ledger. So combo, ledger, water distributor. But party ledger is not affected. When we perform when we when we perform purchase order Party ledger or inventory books will not get affected. When we perform receipt note. Inventory book will get affected but not party ledger. So when we have performed the purchase order, 
order is being placed and order placing that when we place order goods will not move from anywhere again is that order when goods are being sold sent by our supplier then it will reach to us so we will specify that we have received the goods then if goods are coming to us so we will write on inventory we will write the receipt not in that stock receive we will perform the receipt not we will take the party and item and receipt not then when we perform receipt not it will affect the inventory because goods we have received received so inventory will get affect and it shows the increase of stock So when we perform the order, it will not affect the inventory. In order that uh, entertain our order is executed, goods are delivered from the supplier and we will receive the goods. So inventory book affected, but party ledger will not affect. When part now we said cycle we said purchase order, receipt note, and rejection note. So we had performed the purchase order. For performing the purchase order, creation of company, inventory feature, in that we had enabled purchase order, and for the receipt note, I will write down the receipt note details also. Receipt note is performed when we receive goods from our supplier against purchase or purchase order. For enabling the receipt note, F11, F2, inventory features, the delivery and receipt note, make it as Delivery or receipt note. Enable it. Now, when you enable receipt and delivery note,
So delivery note and receipt note. We have to enable that one. Now F11. From where we did the receipt note delivery note? We went to F11 inventory features. In the inventory feature, we have to enable this option. Use tracking number, receipt note, and delivery note. So we have to enable this enable delivery and receipt mode. When we enable this delivery and receipt mode, here in after enabling receipt and delivery mode, we will go to F inventory vouchers. Step 3. Step 2 is voucher inventory voucher. In inventory voucher, F9 for receipt mode. And in the receipt note, we will provide the sub order detail and we will perform the party and we will perform the entry. In the receipt note, we have done that one. Now I will do once more the receipt note. Inventory vouchers. In inventory voucher, already we have performed on receipt note. We will do the page of, we can check it out here, the existing receipt note. I will delete this and I will show you one. First, F11, F2, receipt mode. When I go to receipt mode, whatever feature I have to enable is in F12, I have to enable the supplementary detail. If not, I will not get the purchase order detail. No, I am not getting the purchase order detail. Again, is which order I am delivering, I may not know. So I have to enable this option. F12, enable supplementary detail. When I enable that, after selecting the party, and what does distributor? We will get the option here. List of orders are pending. So we have an order pending from the supplier, Walters distributor. Again, is that order only we are performing the receipt mode? Then we will map that one. Published. So when I select the order, all stock item in that particular order will be available to me. So I will select only one. We have done the receipt note. When we perform receipt note, it will affect only inventory book. It not it will not affect the party ledger. When the party ledger now I will receipt note we have performed. The next step we said that on the way goods got damaged. When goods are being delivered from supplier end to our end due to the uh, due to the transportation road bad due to damage of road in the transportation. Two of the ACs got damaged. So what we said? It's a rejection note. So rejection note we have to perform. So how to perform the rejection note? I will write down the step first in the word. So when from which screen we can perform that inventory voucher? Here rejection note is available. When I click on rejection note, it shows me the detail. To so whom you want to reject it? What does this give? What is the item? What does AC20 which we have bought? From that, how many quantity you want to reject? Two quantity. Now we will check with the reports. Display statement of inventories. Purchase will pending. No, it's showing 18. Inventory watchers. Pager. I will delete this rejection or not. Now, first we will check with the receipt note invoice which we have performed for that report. How to check the report? For the receipt note, F9 receipt note. The receipt note. Receipt note is performed when we receive goods from our supplier again is a purchase or purchase order. So then we have delivery note and receipt note. 
in FQ features and inventory voucher F9 for receipt note in the receipt note party name supplementary detail in supplementary detail we will map the after party account name supplementary detail will come in the supplementary detail we will map the purchase order after mapping the order stock item will reflect in receipt mode accepting receipt mode check the post step 3 reports for receipt mode gateway of tally geo means gateway of tally display statement of inventories statement of inventories and in the statement of inventory purchase order still pending purchase still pending so display statement of inventories purchase bill pending here not purchase order pending purchase bill pending now we will check it out with the report receipt not means good we have received the goods now we will check display statement of inventories purchase bill pending when order is pending purchase order outstanding when order get executed then it shows us purchase bill pending so we have to make the bill for the purchase order so order is been executed bill is been raised again is the bill bill how will be right when we receive goods we will write on the receipt note so for the particular receipt note we have to perform the invoice for purchase so but here what happen we are we have now when we click on purchase bill pending it shows that goods received but bill not ready that recorded what does it means is from supplier end he has delivered the goods but we have received the goods still invoice is not been generated what does invoice means tax invoice tax invoice from supplier end in received that he has only sent goods to us so he didn't send any tax invoice so it's an only goods are been delivered so we had performed the purchase uh, receipt note in the receipt note first we had performed purchase order again is that we have performed the receipt note in the receipt note we said that we have received 20 stock item so for our understanding what are the items which we have received which not yet billed so we have received the goods but it not got billed yet from the 20 volt ss is to got damage in the transportation so we will be giving him back giving him back this means we are rejecting him out the goods are been rejected by us so how we will be performing the
Gateway of Tallinn. We had to perform the rejection out. Inventory voucher. Rejection out. Select the ledger. Walters distributor from whom we had buy. Walters distributor. Walters distributor. Name of item. Walters ACs. When I select here, Walters cooler, it's showing order detail. Which we haven't received yet. Now, when I select, Walter says it's showing me 20 which we received. It's not showing me order detail. 20 which we have received. From 20, do you want to return? Yes, from 20, I want to return to. End of list. Who got written? Now, from 20, for 20 order, we received 20 as per our order. But from the 20, who got damage? So, for the two, we had performed rejection order. Now, we will check the report display. Statement of inventories. Purchase bill pending. Now, bill pending is on how what's the quantity it might be it is 18 why 18 is 20 we had placed in order from the 20 20 got delivered but from the 20 two are damaged so we are returning that we are this is not the purchase return it's a return from the code on end we have not performed any purchase invoice here it is only for delivery of goods in the delivering two got damaged we are returning it when tax invoice is generated, if we return, that is purchase return. Before the tax invoice, if we are returned, that we have to perform the rejection out. Now from purchase order bill pending, why it's showing 18 is when you press Alt F1 for detail, it shows that receipt note 20 quantity again is that one rejection or two quantity. So it's 18. On 18, we have to perform the tax invoice. Now, for this, now even in our inventory book, how much quantity it shows, we will check it out. Inventory book, stock item, ACs, it's showing 18. Why it's showing 18? First, we have to be exit from 20 to rejected. 18 are available. In 18, it's showing that purchase bill pending. Thank you. 
So goods are with us. For that, we have to perform the purchase invoice. Order has been placed. Goods are received. From the received goods, we have returned to. For the 18, we have to perform the purchase invoice. So here, it's showing purchase bill pending. Why it's showing pending is we have received the goods. We have not performed any purchase invoice, tax invoice, and it's not affecting the party ledger. When we perform order, it didn't affect anything. When we perform receipt note, it affected the inventory. When we perform the rejection or it affected the inventory. Now, when we perform the purchase invoice, it will affect the party's ledger. Now, again, is that I will perform the purchase invoice now. Accounting voucher F9 for purchase invoice number one on 12th April. I am performing because on 12th April goods got delivered to me. I am performing the now, here it's showing receipt note. When we are performing the purchase order, we have given order number one. Again, is that order we have performed the receipt note. Then we have assigned the receipt note, order detail in the receipt note. Now, when we are performing the purchase invoice, we have to give the receipt details. Now, I have selected the receipt number here. Now, when I select the receipt detail in supplementary detail, automatically the Receive detail will come in my purchase invoice. I have not selected the item or purchase ledger. When I don't when I don't select the receipt detail, check it out again. Purchase voucher, invoice number one, water distributor, end of list, end of list, accept. Now I am not getting the item details. This purchase invoice I am performing again is the receipt note which I have received. So I have to map that on 1st April order has been placed again is that on 12th April it got delivered. So the details you can check it out here in the supplementary box also. Now purchase orders it's showing aid in quantity. I accept this. Here reference. Now, when we perform purchase invoice, we will check now purchase bill pending report. Which for we, uh, for the re receipt note, we have checked the report now. Now we will check that report whether still bill pending are is there or not. Display statement of inventories. Purchase bill pending. Now it's not showing the pending bill. Now I will press F12. When I press F12 and paste that show purchase bill close, it's showing me a clear bill. Now we will check with the party ledger. Now it wants book. Ledger Walters Walters distributor. Now the party ledger get affected. Now in Walters distributor purchase from four lakhs fifty thousand. It's showing here. When we perform purchase invoice, it's a tax invoice. It affect the party ledger, but it will not affect the inventory because inventory already affected when they have performed the receipt note. Now. When we perform purchase and we had mapped the receipt note in the purchase invoice because of that it not show the inventory already inventory got affected when we had performed the receipt note again if we don't map the receipt note what happens we will perform two purchase one is receipt note still pending and another is purchase invoice in that we say the 20 quantities that then that means we have received 18 and 18 total 36 quantity but is that only 18 are issued. So what we did, we mapped that purchase receipt note in purchase invoice. We will check it out once more what we have performed. I will first go to the we have still one pending order for Walters. What is the pending order? Display statement of inventory 
purchase order outstanding all orders walter scholar purchase order which got executed or in a we press here f12 in a press here purchase order closing it shows me here. outstanding order in that it showing total order we have selected total order total order it showing from that we better if we check here primary f12 now you can check it out here from the walters company we had placed an order for two one is for Walters AC and Walters School. And Walters AC order got executed, which is clear. 18. And 2 is pending. 2 is pending because we can perform one invoice for rejection of. For that, it's showing 2. We had placed an order when I click on it. It shows me in the detail Alt F1 from the system. Click on it. Alt F1. It shows the first for the Walters AC first. Twenty quantity order is been placed. Again, is that twenty stock has been received, so it got minus plus into minus twenty. It got order got nullified. Again, is that we had performed the rejection of two quantity. Then we had performed the purchase invoice for it. It so is showing us total twenty from that two is still banned. Still. Outstanding was we have to receive two, which is balanced. We have returned to quantity that is showing in the pending. So 18 got delivered, and second, still one order is still pending that is, water cooler 30 quantity is still pending. Now, for the 30, we will perform again. Receive note, delivery uh, receipt note, and purchase invoice. Inventory voucher, F9 for receipt note, invoice number 2, party Walters distributor, 1, end of list. It's showing, have, have we received the two also, the pending? You may say that yes, two, two quantity which is pending for AC, we have received that one also, and we have received one more order also. That is two quantities of AC also, which is pending. He has delivered us that quantity also, and the water cooler also. Water cooler. 30 quantity. So, in the second receipt note, what we have done for the pending two which we have rejected, he has delivered along with the rulers. So, we have performed the receipt invoice. Now, we will check with the display statement of inventory purchase bill outstanding. It's nullified. First, all the order got executed. Stock item also when I check. AC, no. Water cooler, no. Ledger, managed, no. So there is no order is pending. Now we go to the purchase bill pending. It's showing that purchase bill is pending for 2 AC and 30 coolers. We have received the goods, we haven't performed any purchase invoice. So it should go 
goods received but will not recorded vastulu aithe ochesai aa vastulu ochesai kaani aa vastuku sambandhinchi manam inka invoice purchase invoice perform cheyalem ani cheppindi order ayindi receipt ayindi kaani me purchase invoice cheyale ink ani in message space by chesindi we will come down on gateway of tally accounting voucher f9 for purchase waters end of list purchase you check it out with the pending bill display statement of inventory is purchase bill pending so all the bill pending got executed we have performed the purchase invoice also so now it will affect the purchase register and party ledger in the purchase register 80 lakhs when the key on 80 lakhs it's going purchase in must two invoices are there first invoice is for 45 lakh second invoice for 3 lakh 50000 so we have two invoices of purchase when i go to the ledger waters distributor two purchase invoices are there one is 4 lakh 50000 another is 3 lakh 50000 so i will go to the inventory book group summary primary waters 20 item waters we received 30 item of ac waters we have received so order again is the order receipt note again is the receipt note rejection note again is the rejection of again is no rejection not over now again is the receipt note we have to perform the purchase invoice so we have performed the purchase invoice also now same we will do with the sales order now we have the stock with us now we have got the sale order from our supplier as in that we are a supplier now we are selling now we are selling okay when we sell we are not directly selling no, first what we are doing we are delivering the goods first with itself we are not delivering the sales invoice what we are doing we said in the second scenario sale order again is the sale order delivery note rejection note we got a sale order from our supplier buyer is want to buy for him it's a purchase for us sale so first is order we got an order from whom we got an order we got an order from the mahesh enterprises mahesh enterprises order number 1 for sale what he want to buy he want to buy the coolers How many? When is the due date? I will take it here. Thirty-eight April. What's the quantity of coolers he want to buy? He want to buy five. It's costing fifteen. Twelve thousand. But if we purchase at ten, we are selling at twelve. So we are placing an order. We got an order from the Mahesh Enterprises. So I will go to the ship. i have executed the order i will check it out the order report display statement of inventory sales order outstanding cooler five quantity of order is outstanding order has to be get delivered now again is that order what i will do we have an order sale order now again is the sale order what we said we have to perform the We have said delivery. No, we are delivering the goods. When we are receiving, we have performed the receipt. No, we are performing the delivery. No. Inventory go. Delivery. Business number one. My center prices. Again, is the order we are delivering. So I will take the again order. Uh, order details here, and I have to change the date here. 
when I perform the delivery display statement of inventory sales cooler now from the outstanding sales with sales order it's moved where it moved it moved to the sales bill pending when I click on here we had made a sales to the my age sales here it's showing the Goods delivered. In the first one, what we got? Goods received. And when we received goods from our supplier, we said good received and we have performed the receipt mode. When we are selling, when we are delivering the goods, then it specifies that after delivery of goods, goods delivered be not made. So we have not made any sales invoice yet. So for that we have to perform the sales invoice now. Accounting voucher and from fine one of the goods got damaged and which has been rejected by him. So for him it's rejection not for us is a rejection in. So inventory voucher, rejection in, Mahesh. A singular one quantity is rejecting us. Now we will check it out the bills now. Display statement of inventory sales bill pending. Initially, five quantities have been delivered. Again, as that five, four quantity we are spending. One is rejection of it. So when I press Alt F1 for detail, it's showing pi not delivered. Again is the pi. One is rejection in. He is returning us one. So for the phone only we have to bill. Regarding this, we will have the five, five minute of break. Then we will check it out with the sales invoice and check it reports of the tally.
So now we are in the sales bill pending. Sales bill pending. Manakhe bro, eight items pending only. Four items ki bill pending only. Actually, five or six. Now five and six. Manu kar reverse computation. Manu supply. Manu buyer computation do kar de. Four dan ki manu sales invest kya hai. Accounting voucher. F8. Mahesh. Delivery note. End of list. Now we will check it out the report. D. E. Sales bill pending. So it is showing in the left part. So. What are the steps are required? We will, what are the topics we have covered today? I will sum up it again. So, I will sum up this again. I will sum up this again. Purchase order and sale order. If you purchase order, sale order, and if you have a company, you can set up a better company. वाले वक्त में मैन्युफैक्चर्स को मारो, मैन्युफैक्चर्स है ना ट्रेडर्स हैं। वी विल टेक द एग्जांपल ऑफ ट्रेडर। ऐसे ही उधर वी आर होम होम शॉप अप्लाई है। वी आर है शोरूम वी हैव द शोरूम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इक्विपमेंट। वी विल कोर्ट द राजकुमार इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंपनी विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड if they will buy it once in a month, how they will buy it? At the end of the month, they will not call the supply distributor and ask him to deliver the goods. What they do? They will follow the proper channel. And today, I need 30 stock for next month. So tomorrow, I will not call to the my distributor or dealer. Deliver 30 quantity of AC and coolers tomorrow. So what I have to do? And they will not entertain. What they have to do? We have to call one channel. What's the channel? It says that we have to place an order first. How to place an order? And we have to place an order. Either purchase or sales. Now we are in this showroom. We said we will place an order for the... When we will place... We will not place in the end of the month. We will place 5 to 10 days before. We will place an order. We will ask them to deliver on 1st of the month. As if that we are in the... April 30... We are in the month. Now we are in the... Current example also we are in the 28th month. On fifth of the month, we uh, we want to goods to be delivered to us. So on 28th, I will place an purchase order to Walters distributor, and I will ask them that to deliver the goods in seven days. These are the quantities. So I have placed an order. When order is been placed, it is been entertainment. Again, is that order when I will receive the goods on paper. I will perform the receipt now. Specifying that goods have been received by me, one of the goods is damaged. I will write down a rejection or invoice to my supplier and one receipt now. So when I give the stamp of the for him, delivery note, when he issues the delivery note, when I sign and return him, he will write down me an invoice. He will write down a sales invoice for me. So again is that I will what I will do in my book. Perform purchase order again is the order I got the delivery again is the delivery uh, receipt note I will perform on the receipt note two stocks got damaged we have written remaining quantity is stock goods received but will not met I will check the report so so what I will do I will perform now purchase invoice cycle is purchase order receipt note if any goods damage rejection in if not then purchase so we have cycle order to execution. This is the cycle is followed in the company level. Purchase order, then receipt note, purchase invoice, and payment. So cycle is been there. So we have to follow the proper channel so that we have the proper reporting. When we perform the purchase order, what happens? We will assign the order number to the purchase. Again, is the order on we said it on 28. मैंने मेरे जब मैंने कंपनी एक के आर्डर प्लेस किया था ना आई दो तारीख की मैंने कि डेलीवरी का वाला मैंने चेक किया था इसलिए पच्चीस आर्डर एक्सेस में मैंने कंपनी एक 
బస్సులు వచ్చేసి ఇంకా వీటిని తయారు చేయాల్సి ఉందని రిపోర్ట్ దొరుకుతుంది మనకి అది ఇక్కడ డిస్ప్లే స్టేట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్వెంటరీ డిస్ప్లే స్టేట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్వెంటరీ పర్చేస్ బిల్ పెండింగ్ గుడ్స్ రిసీవ్ బట్ బిల్ నాట్ పెండ్ బిల్ మీన్స్ ట్యాక్స్ ఇన్వాయిస్ ఇయర్ బిల్ మీన్స్ ట్యాక్స్ ఇన్వాయిస్ వస్తువులు వచ్చాయి కానీ ఇన్వాయిస్ ఇంకా జనరేట్ అవ్వాలి స్టేట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్వెంటరీస్ లా బిల్స్ పర్చేస్ బిల్ పెండింగ్ లా దొరుకుతుంది ఆ బిల్స్ పెండింగ్ తగ్గించి కానీ మనం పర్చేస్ ఇన్వాయిస్ చేయాలి అకౌంటింగ్ వాచర్ ఎఫ్ నైన్ పర్చేస్ ఇన్వాయిస్ వాటర్స్ పర్చేస్ మనం పర్చేస్ ఇన్వాయిస్ పెండింగ్ కి మనం దాని తగ్గించి పర్చేస్ ఇన్వాయిస్ చేస్తే బిల్ బిల్ ఆల్సో గెట్ రైస్ ఇప్పుడు పర్చేస్ బిల్ రైస్ అయిన తర్వాత పర్చేస్ ఆల్సో పర్చేస్ బిల్ పెండింగ్ రిపోర్ట్ దగ్గర మనకి ఏమేమి ఎఫెక్ట్ అవుతుంది మన ఇన్వెంట్ మనకు ఫస్ట్ వచ్చాయని ఎఫెక్ట్ అవుతుంది దాని తగ్గించి కానీ మనం పర్చేస్ ఇన్వాయిస్ పర్ఫామ్ చేస్తే ఏమైందంటే పార్టీ లెడ్జర్ పార్టీ దగ్గర నుంచి డబ్బులు వచ్చింది కదా పార్టీ లెడ్జర్ బిల్ ఆల్సో పార్టీ నుంచి వస్తువులు వచ్చాయి ఆయన రిపోర్ట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ అవుతుంది ఇన్వెంట్ రిపోర్ట్ ఎఫెక్ట్ అవుతుంది so this is the channel followed in the company inspector if you are a retailer if you do buying selling daily basis and you are not making any order it's not an issue but the main big organization showroom they cannot ask the dealer to deliver right on call they will ask him to place an order again is the order only purchase on order basis only purchase and sales will happen and for that we will be make recording this purchase order and sales order purchase order order receipt not and purchase invoice in the sales sales order delivery not and sales invoice so for the sales sales delivery not and sales invoice these are the channel which is been followed at the company level and many of the showroom and company manufacturing company they will follow the structure order structure order again is order receipt and receipt not and then purchase invoice sales order again is the sales order delivery not and sales invoice. in the tally application when we perform purchase order we will get the purchase order pending report purchase outstanding report sales order sales outstanding report receipt not purchase bill receipt not purchase bill purchase bill pending purchase bill pending in that we will check it out for the which bill goods are delivered tax purchase invoice has to be raised and in the same in the purchase order order number is given receipt note order number is been mapped in the de- purchase invoice receipt note is mapped same in sales sales order order number is mapped in the delivery note 
you know, order number is given. When we do first is order is then generated. For that, we will give one order number. Again, is the order number same delivery note is performed. So we will have map the order number, sales order number in the delivery note. In this sales invoice, we will map the delivery note number. So that again is the order, delivery is happening. Again is the delivery, sales is happening. So this is the channel which is followed. Purchase order and sale order. And we can check it out the reports in the statement of inventory. Any doubts till now? Any doubts? Creation of purchase, creation, purchase order, creation of company, inventory future, creation of ledgers. We know the creation of ledger in stock item in the previous classes we have learned. Order F4 from inventory vouchers. To perform the order, step 4. Get your tally, order voucher, F4 for purchase order and order report, GOT, display, statement of inventories, Purchase order outstanding receipt node F2 enable receipt and delivery node inventory voucher receipt voucher supplementary details. Step 1 and you will be shipped and delivered in your fuel configuration. Step 2 Inventory Watchers F9 Purchase Watcher Step to inventory voucher and F9 feature. And then we will perform the supplementary detail. In that we will assign the purchase order number. Then step 3. Reports, receipt, uh, report of receipt note, display, statement of inventory, purchase bill pending. Then we will perform this. And we said purchase order. When purchase order is performed, party or inventory will not get affected. When we perform the receipt note, inventory book will get affected but not party ledger. Then purchase invoice when you perform purchase invoice. It will affect
पार्टी ले चाहिए इलेक्टिव पार्टी ले चाहिए सेम इन सेम ऑर्डर एंड चैनल विच इज फॉरवर्ड इज सेल्स ऑर्डर अगेन एज अ डिलीवरी नोट then rejection in rejection of any sales invoice so sale order we will assign a new number for sale order new number is assigned delivery note the sale order number is been mapped in rejection note the delivery note number is mapped in sales invoice delivery note number is mapped same for the sales report The sales order reports DOG. Sorry, get me up, Kelly. Display statement of inventories. Sales order outstanding. Delivery note report. GOP display statement of. Sales bill pending. Sales invoice. GOP. This is for inventory. Broken sales invoice. Check party and inventory books. The topic for today was order processing. How order processing is being done. Any queries till now? Okay. I'm closing the session for today. Topic is sales and order processing in that purchase and sales order delivery. Rejection in and rejection out. So these are the vouchers we have performed: purchase invoice, purchase order, sale order, delivery note, receipt note, rejection in and rejection out. These are the reports we have uh, in vouchers we have done, and we have checked the reports also.